So let's see that we have to draw this index base that you are seeing in front of us. Okay. So first we need to check the dimensions and the sizes. So they are in inches as you can see them there. Then we're not going to waste any time. We're going to come back here and then we go new English standard inches and then we go create. Don't worry about us. So once we here, once you know we are on our drawing boards, we're gonna go and sketch there. We say rectangle. I'm gonna start with a rectangle. I choose YZ as my drawing plane. Then there is my rectangle. Okay. So first I'm gonna give the dimension to my length, right? So let's just it starts with the frame. So that will be 4.1196 inches. Sorry. 96 okay 96 inches and then this side here yeah, that will be okay 2.5 inches okay and then i'm gonna go for my circle there's my circle there you go and this circle here yeah, need to be 2.5 inches and i need to make sure that uh, this one is tangent to that one okay and again that needs to be tangent to that one great definitely this is tangent you're gonna see there there yeah you can see tangents so once that is done i'm gonna go for my other circle so there is my other circle and this one here as per my sketch that one needs to be 0 0.8125 inches okay i'm only allowed three decimal places you know after the comma it's fine and then what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna make sure that from day to day that's correct okay correct and the same year correct okay fine then i'm gonna draw this rectangle crossing right then i'll make sure that that is tangent to that and this is tangent to that great okay so once that is in place what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna then uh delete this one okay you're gonna understand why we're gonna put it after and uh delete that one as well so once that is out i'm gonna have to trim that spot so i'm gonna trim this part yeah okay and uh trim that one as well trim this trim that and trim that and here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna trim that spot trim that spot because i don't need them yeah because i don't need them then i'm gonna trim that part as well and then i'm gonna go for my circle so there is my other circle and this one here has been my scale that's one need to be uh 1.6 to five inches all right then i'm gonna trim again that spot trim this spot trim that and trim this one and here yeah, trim that spot trim that one 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 okay so once i'm finished with those i'm going to then come with my sizes so from the up to the that's one need to be 4.1196 inches great and uh i might as well trim that spot as well because i don't need that okay and uh just to make sure about my sizes so that's one need to be that's fine okay and that's one they need to be 2.5 inches so that's correct so okay then from here i'm gonna say 3d model i punch extrude then i'm gonna extrude this part here by as per my drawing so it's gonna be by 1.625 inches great and i come here i say sketch visible okay and then i go on 3d model i punch extrudes i want that spot to be extruded 
by 0 0.5625, right? 25. <laughs> There's a comma there. <laughs> Sorry for that. So 25, that's fine. I say okay. Then what I can do next is you know I want to kill that corner and this corner. So I'll come there. I punch and fill it, and that's when I need to have 0 0.625. Right? I say okay. Then I want to remove the visibility. Visibility off. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have to draw this hole that you're seeing there. So I'm gonna come back here. I choose what which drawing plane. That's one. I click on it. Then I'm gonna draw my hole. So it comes there. There is a hole, and it needs to be from there up to there. It needs to be one point zero six two five inches okay and uh, the sizes so that's one need to be <coughs> the size that's one need to be uh, 0 0.4375 great and from there up to there that need to be 1.25 inches correct so once that is done, check out it. <coughs> I go on 3D mode, I say extrude. So I punch it. Now I'm gonna go to say 8 inches. So it's gonna go through like that. <laughs> but instead of adding the material, so I'm going to cut. So I come there. I say, okay. Now check out how your drawing looks like. Okay. So the next thing that you want now is to give the material. So let's say that this one need to be this one need to be sorry mm, gold. <laughs> so this one is in gold, okay? Because I'm a fan of gold. So if you want, we can go for um, steel alloy, you know, mild steel, something like that. So what is steel alloy here? That is steel alloy. Okay, so that's great. So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you're gonna enjoy it. When I'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself and see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to your first time. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to hit the bell button. So please take care of yourself and see you on the next video. Bye.